So in this video, we are going to be talking about alkylation of terminal alkynes. The process of alkylation is simply putting an alkyl group or an R group onto something, and in this case, we're going to be putting it onto a terminal alkyne. So first, let's talk about a little bit of vocabulary. Right here, we have our terminal alkyne, and what that means is that the carbon on the end of the triple bond is only attached to a hydrogen. So this is what is considered terminal. And then we have right here our acetylide, and the acetylide is just a deprotonated terminal al um, alkyne. So how we do this is that we use sodium amide right here to deprotonate the terminal alkyne. It grabs that hydrogen and it donates its electrons back to this carbon right here. So then you're left with the acetylide, which has a lone pair and a negative charge. And you can in turn use this as a nucleophile. And that's what we're going to see in the next slide. So we have right here um, an example. So step one is going to be to deprotonate the acetylene to acetylide as shown in the last slide. And then in step two, we're going to use that acetylide as a nucleophile to attack an alkyl halide. And this can also be done twice if you have, in this case, um, a terminal alkyne on both sides. So you have a hydrogen on both sides of that triple bond. So for step one, I'm going to draw out the mechanism over here. Um, you have your R and then your terminal alkyne. And then step one is going to use sodium amide. to deprotonate this, and that will give you your acetylide. So now we have a lone pair right here and a negative charge. And then we are going to use this as a nucleophile, um, and that is step two. We have our alkyl halide right here. Rx. And then this... Um, this lone pair right here is going to attack the alkyl group, kicking out the halide. And then you're left with, I'm going to draw it down here. You are left with an alkylated alkyne. So we started out with the terminal alkyne, and now we just have an internal alkyne because we now have an R group on both sides of it. And like I said, this can be done twice um, if you have a hydrogen on both sides of that the carbon of the triple bond. Um, and it's the exact same process. You just do it for both sides of it. And notice here, if you're doing it twice, you need an excess reagent of the alkyl halide. Because if you only have one equivalent of it, it will only go through that process one time. I hope you found this video to be really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what Organic Chemistry 1 class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.